It is opening night, a huge night for both sets of fans. Match day one in the UEFA Champions League. Who will get off to a flying start? It's Milan, they take on Chelsea, and we're live on EA TV. And hello from one of the great venues in world football, the San Siro in the city of Milan. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson and we've got so much to look forward to this is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition the UEFA Champions League the group stage match day one action it's Milan taking on Chelsea well thanks Derek this is such an important game both sides will be desperate to start this group well let's hope we see some great football today This is the Milan starting 11. Davide Calabria plays with two offensive areas. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. For Chelsea, Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Mateo Kovacic plays alongside Kai Havertz in central midfield. And the striker today is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Teo Hernandez. Plenty of options. And Giroud waits to fire. And a struggle to get it away properly. Krunic. He takes aim. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Who can he pick out? Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. They'll repeat the trick, corner again. And there's the delivery. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh my goodness me! Well, don't try that at home without practice, practice, practice. Breathtaking goal. Oh 
Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? The athleticism, the connection, the accuracy, that's a great goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Well, match day one in the UEFA Champions League, always exhilarating. And as we look at the group, Stuart, what might we see in this section? Well, in my view, Chelsea look to have the best squad. They also have a couple of brilliant players who can turn any game. That said, I like the look of Milan this season. They seem to have a good balance to their team. This will certainly be an interesting group, no doubt about that. Havertz and return to Chilwell oh body in the way crucially racing forward trying to catch them out Diaz well it wasn't the best piece of finishing in all honesty goal kick yeah it was all good until that final effort just shows you how devastating they can be on the break though Showing a real will to win the ball. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. A fine reading of the situation. Illegal play and hence a free kick. Well, the referee saw it as a bookable offence. And I think he's got it absolutely right. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Mike Menon. Here's Chilwell. Chilwell. And it's played into the center. They're showing good defensive judgment. Sterling, Sterling, and not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. be onto something but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in out of play then for a Milan throw Ficayo Tomori might be a chance here it's opened up for him still a chance Havertz and they keep the ball advantage Chelsea he's gone and found the net brilliant piece of finishing magnificent goal well as you can see that's a great bit of skill he times this so sweetly what a good goal that is
Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. He has teammates around him. He'll take this on. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. Really good high press. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Given away by the Rossoneri. It is a decent looking attack here. And it might appeal to Raheem Sterling, you know. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Sterling. Oh, great defending. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Giroud. He's in behind. this again a change of pace a change of direction and a decent finish that's a very good goal It'll be interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Sterling. Sterling. Must be. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Short corner favoured. It's Sterling cutting in. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Sandro Tonali. Milan showing good width. How can they create something? Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. The keeper was hoping someone might get on the end of it, but it will be a throw-in. Brunic. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. As they say in French, Olivier Giroud has that savoir faire. He knows what he's doing in this one, Stuart. Well, it's been a really good display for him so far, Derek. He scored the leading goal, he's been energetic, and his movement has caused lots of problems to this back line. Can he keep it going in the second half, though? And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available.
and options in the center and looking towards the back post it comes to absolutely nothing and Chelsea get the decision from the referee and a timely intervention can he put it away chance maybe the referee is given a corner And over it comes. Well, they weren't able to capitalise. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Oh, well, fine play. And maybe it'll set something up. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Kovacic Shot attempted And that wasn't a mil After the foul A chance to contemplate what is next And perhaps a goal from this free kick It needed to be a lot better than that. Straight into the wall. Well, as those stats show us, Milan haven't controlled the possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Well, that's right. Preserving the lead and doing it really well. Kovacic. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. to the final half hour plenty of support here Ziyech superbly read and executed counter-attacking very much an option Giroud nicely timed tackle Sterling Kovacic Very quick thinking there Giroud on the move here Krunic And no way through From one side of the pitch to the other. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Obama Yang. And here's Ziyech. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Kovacic. And that's an important intervention. Obama Young. Fernandez. 
Here's Kovacic. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, it fizzled out. Free kick to Chelsea. Barney on to James just the challenge that was required now options are plenty Leal that's what you call defending from the front possibilities here Well, these Milan fans are certainly playing their part here. The noise inside San Siro has been incredible. Surely the players will hold on here. Now still pressing for a goal here. But timely defending when it mattered. And we've entered the final five minutes. Kovacic, well, possession seeded. Krunic. Oh, a smart save, and that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? And the substitution will occur now. Trying to deliver it accurately. And a goal kick given. electronic board showing three additional minutes Sterling and support available time is against Chelsea but they can still battle back this could be the equaliser but no when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game you have cause to be thankful well that could be a key moment they have to take those sort of chances they won't get too many more but let's credit the goalkeeper going short the end of this particular story and for whatever reason it didn't go as a plan for Chelsea it's a poor start to their Champions League season. Yeah, they'll be disappointed. It's an uphill battle if you don't get anything from your opening game. It really comes down to how they bounce back now. Vital we see a better performance next time out. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he was a real nuisance today. He always looked a threat, and of course he got the winner. He was probably the difference between the two teams.